you guys want to take your burgers up to Iron Chef levels, right? Iron Chef Michael Simon leads the way as we salute the world's most perfect food. First, you're in for a burger beatdown. Three world-class burger makers have a major beef to settle. We're calling it Battle of the Best Burger. So whose patty will prevail? Good luck, boys. You're gonna need it against me. <laughs> and earn a top spot in my South Beach Burger Bash. The Burger King is... That being said, don't you want to know who the finalists are? Yeah. Check them out. Just flip them right around. Flip them right around. Flip them right around. My name is Mauricio Andres Oliveros, and I am the owner of Frankenburger. When you come in here, you think monster, you think big, you think creepy, you think exotic, rare. It's definitely a young vibe. It's a young crowd. It's one of those places where I feel as though the young customer is, is more willing to have different palate, different tastes. Two small People come in and they go, you know what? Take me on a lift. Take me on an adventure. Let's see where it goes. And that's what we do here. Bacon burger, bacon burger, bacon burger. The burger that was nominated for the burger bash was the Frankenburger. It has the pineapple, crushed potato chips, sauteed onions, ham, mozzarella cheese, ketchup, mustard, and a Thousand Island dressing, which we call the pink sauce. It's something out of a, another book. It's, you know, you gotta try to believe it. You'll learn it. Frankenburger is the best. No more messing around. Frankenburger's taking you down. Hey ladies, how's everything? Hey, delicious. My name is Tommy Up. I own PYT Burger and Bar in Philadelphia. I'm not a chef. Uh, I consider myself a burger punk. We have uh, dozens of different burgers uh, on our regular menu, and every week we come up with a different crazy one. And if it's really popular, we'll add it to the regular menu. I'm going to have the Korean short rib. Yeah, I make it too. My Korean short rib burger was nominated for the Burger Bash. Uh, we're very happy about that, and we're very proud of it. Mmm, so good. Just amazing. It is eight ounces of a short rib blend. We marinate it over nice in a traditional Korean barbecue sauce. We top it with a spicy Korean mayo. We put kimchi on it uh, to give it a really nice crunch. Uh, I think it's a pretty awesome combination. It's all around best burger I've ever had. Watch out. The Korean short rib burger from PYT is the people's champ. These three right here with medium wells, right? I'm Paul Malvoni, and I'm the owner of Boston Burger Company. Our goal is to have fun. We want to have fun with the burgers. Make them outrageous. Make them something you may not see everywhere else. I step out of my comfort zone and get the Waikiki Beach Burger. We have the Artery Clogger, Kitchen Sink, the King, the Green Monster, which is fabulous, and we have the Killer Bee, which has been our hit. The burger that was nominated was the Hot Mess. It has American cheese, chopped up pickles, bacon, red onions, jalapenos, shredded lettuce, and sweet potato french fries. And it'll be oozing with Thousand Island dressing on top. We go to take that first bite. It just runs down your hands and your arms. We want people to make a mess of themselves when they eat this burger. And we always follow it up with a big stack of napkins. It's a burger that everybody wants to have. Oh, it's so good. New York, Philadelphia, you're in for a burger beatdown. Bring on the beef! Each one of those burgers, I was like, oh, that one's got it. Oh, no, that one's got it. Oh, that one's got it. Unbelievable. I am the self-proclaimed queen of burgers, but any of you boys could easily be the king. Good job all around. Now, Mauricio, let's start with you. Do you got a secret ingredient or a secret tactic to your burgers? Definitely. It's, it's definitely the pineapple, the potato chips. I mean, if you could put the that on. The crunch factor, right? The crunch factor. If you could put it on the pizza, you could put it on a burger. We put it on there. We throw in the ham, the sauteed onions, every flavor is just wow out of your mouth. All right, all right. Now, Tommy, I love kimchi. Things the spicier, the better. I mean, that short rib thing is just crazy. What's the secret to your burger? Is it all about the, the cut of meat? Rachel, I'm a burger punk. I've had thousands of burgers. I was flipping burgers when I was 15 on the boardwalk in Atlantic City. 
and this is the ultimate creation we've come up with. It's the short rib, it's the marinade in it, it tastes like you're in an authentic Korean barbecue house, and the kicker is the kimchi. As soon as we put that on there, we knew we had something special. A whole I new burger it. topping. I also love that t-shirt. Oh, I gotta get me one of those, that is a mad t-shirt. Long night in Vegas, so I'll tell you later. Love it, love it, love it. I covet the t-shirt. Okay, so up next, Paul, how did you come up with the name for your burger, which by the way, is the hot mess. <laughs> you know, we, we like to be, make big, messy burgers at Boston Burger Company. Yeah. And my partner actually came up with that burger. Yeah. It was a little different. He called it the, the big mess. I thought I needed a little something different. I added some jalapenos to it. I changed the name on them. I didn't tell them, but that was all right. And, and now it, you sell even more, don't you? Exactly. That's a exactly. Name. Exactly. Hot you said and that's what I think the beauty of the burger is that you love people to have fun with their food and get messy and get in there and that's what's so great about burgers of today they can be gourmet works of art but the whole thing is brought down so that it's there for everybody you can take it as old school or as new school as you want but the burger makes everything fun you put it between bread you eat it with your hands it makes you happy just happy yeah. Clearly, uh, I would not be a good judge for this. I get a little too excited. <laughs> but I have some hardcore judges for you guys. You ready to meet your judges? Let's go. Yes. We're ready. We're Two of my favorite people, by the way, are our judges today. First up, an infectious giggle this man has. I love him so much. From Iron Chef, Food Feuds, Cook Like an Iron Chef, and The Next Iron Chef, Iron Chef, Michael Sutton. Yeah! And for the first appearance on our show, she's been there a bunch of times, the first time with our editor-in-chief of my magazine, every day, Liz Mazzarello! Hi, Mike! Hi, Liz! Yeah, Liz! Uh, Liz, this is the first... This not the first time she's been here. She's been here a ton of times, but it's the first time she's ever done a show with us as our editor-in-chief of our magazine. <laughs> and we have burgers in there every month, by the way. Uh, and Michael, you know how much I love you. Oh, thanks. And one of, the, one of the things that Michael has mad skills with is, in fact, the burger. You have a whole burger joint, right? The uh, B-spot. Burgers, bratwurst, bologna, beer, bourbon. Oh. <laughs> This That'd is why good. I love this man. <laughs> so what are you guys each going to be looking for today? For me, it's the two main things. Awesome beef, a beefy, beefy burger, mm -hmm. and the bun to burger ratio. Bun to burger ratio. Interesting, mm -hmm. interesting, <laughs> interesting, Liz. Well, it's all about taste. You know, yeah. we when you eat a burger, it has to be delicious. It has to be drooling, dripping down your mouth. Messy, well, right? Messy, but we're looking for a burger with personality, too, where you put it in your mouth and you're like, ooh. Oh, that's a burger? Wow. Yeah, that, yeah. that redefines yes. what a burger can be. Yes. That's what we're all looking all for. Right. Now, <laughs> just to let everybody know what's on the table today, other than bragging rights, of course, the winner is going to receive a trip for two to the South Beach Wine and Food Festival. I'm there all the time. Let me tell you, it's a good time. It's down in Miami, of course. Um, it includes VIP passes, your airfare, your hotel accommodations, plus the opportunity to prepare their uh, their burgers at My Burger Bash, which is part of the festival, and there they could win more prizes. They're going to be cooking along some of the best chefs in the world, plus the top prize at our last Burger Bash, uh, Chef Bobby Flay won, and he took himself home with a $5,000 travel voucher. <laughs> You know, plus the winner's recipe is going to be in our magazine. It's going to be printed up there to share it with the whole world. And we're actually, we're actually going to provide the winning chef today with the backup funding, you know, because the festival provides the meat and the buns and all that. But the backup funding for anything you need for your secret ingredients or what have you. So you're covered all around, the winner. <laughs> Woo! Now, we're going to split up here. Liz is going to take the boys back to the prep kitchen so they can get cooking and she can get looking. She's going to be watching over you Ooh. so there's no sabotage going on in Burger World. So, Liz, you take the fellas. Right, ready? Come on, guys. Take them out. Michael and I are going to come on over here. And we are going to ride the Lazy Susan over 
to the kitchen. Oh, wow. <laughs> cool, right? It is good. It is good. <laughs> I like it. Uh, and you're going to be showing us, I hope, a burger. <laughs> I'm going to show you a burger, the one that we used to win the South Beach Burger yeah. Bank. Yeah. But a previous burger <laughs> bash winner, winner. And so we're doing the fat dog with pastrami Swiss oh my and God, our I custom love this blend one. of meat. Oh, unbelievable. Where do you see this? <laughs> uh, we better hop off because oh, we're going to miss the kitchen. <laughs> finished cooking and they're out here with their burgers and we also have our judges back this is chef mike simon and my magazine's editor-in-chief that's liz vaccarello the tasty lady on the end there now they've tasted each of the guys burgers backstage they've talked it over i have no idea what they're about to say but let's hit it first up uh, we had the Frankenburger, right? Maurizio's burger went first. Mm -hmm. Frankenburger, that's this guy here. What did the judges think? Well, wait, first, all three burgers were spectacular. Hats off. Mm -hmm. Spectacular. Yeah. Hats off. That was good. The, the Frankenburger, for me, I love the saltiness of the ham. You know, mm, yeah. pork is delicious. The pork um, is delicious. <laughs> the, the bun was just a little too dense for me, but the beef was delicious. I loved the ham. The texture yeah. was fantastic. fantastic. Yeah. I, lo I love the crunch, but it took me a couple bites before I got to the crunch. I forgot that there was going to be potato chips in there. Ham loved that saltiness. Yeah. Who doesn't delicious. love salt and fat? Yeah. Sadly, oh. it's not great <laughs> for and us. Beef on beef. Yeah. I love that. You know, so it looks like a very tasty treat. Let's move on to number two. That was Tommy's Korean short rib burger with the spicy kimchi up on top. What do you think? Great soft bun. Beef had a ton of flavor. Mm -hmm. And then you got that big punch with the heat, mm -hmm. which I loved. I would have liked to see maybe just a little bit of sweet to counter the heat. Just a little bit more balance there. But again, a delicious burger. Delicious beef. Soft bun with sesame seeds. Doesn't get any better yeah, than yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. And then that big kimchi punch. I can see why this is a crowd pleaser. Like you just, it was getting all over my face and it's dripping and the hot. Wow, that comes on strong and you love that. It it came on maybe a little too strong, I think, and at, a, at a certain point, but it is a fun burger. You would have liked a little bit of sweet going on. Yeah, so something to counterbalance. Like you guys balance. kind of agreed on yeah. that. Uh, talk but overall, great so far. Let's see. What about Paul's? Hot mess. Hot mess. I love the name, the hot mess. It is it's great. Fun. The the funny thing is, is it appears messier than than it is when you eat it. It, yeah, it really? holds together yeah. much Shocking. like I thought yeah. I was gonna be a hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> and, so it's actually a pretty keeping it clean mess. It was. It was a pretty yeah. clean mess. Um, you know, fun to beef ratio, which I love, was very good. Yeah. Uh, the sweet potatoes on there and some of the flavors. I think it had really great um, traditional flavors gotcha. in a burger yeah. that worked very well together for me. Excellent. I loved. Excellent. I thought it had a great, a nice, solid, beefy taste, and then at the end you snuck it. That jalapeno comes out, mm -hmm. and you're like, wow, it's the perfect hit of hot. Um, and I love that. You know, the fries, the side dishes are on the burger. Everything is on the It's bun. like an that event on a plate. I loved it. An yeah. event on a plate. It's <laughs> not bad. Wow. So, before we, before we let one of these guys go home with some huge bragging rights, just a reminder to everybody, the winner is going to receive a trip for two to South Beach Wine and Food Festival down in Miami. Uh, that includes VIP passes, airfare, hotel accommodations, and the opportunity to prepare their burger alongside some of the greatest chefs in the world at the Burger Bash. You can win more prizes there. Uh, plus, the recipe is going to be printed up in our magazine, so the whole world will get to see it in print. Judges? I'm almost afraid to hear, uh, because they all look so great. They, and they all work great. Who's going home? Today's winner of the Battle of the Best Burger, the Burger King, is... One, two, three... Hot, Hot Mess! mess. Hot mess.